Hello folks, welcome to my shop. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a removable bench vise setup that was an idea was given to me by a buddy of mine. It is really cool. I'm, I'm in a limited space. My shop is my is also my garage. So I have limited space. It is heated, etc. But it's like the cars need to go in here at night, so everything's got to get pushed to the side. So I don't have places to, to make you know racking or, or tray, uh, uh, some sort of a stand for all my tools. They just you know it, it's just not going to happen. And this setup I think is going to allow me to uh, make several different tools with the same setup using the, uh, the setup on the bench that I'll show you in a second. Well, my buddy Mac was over um, having a couple beers and he told me about this setup that his father um, had in his shop and, and, and when he described it to me I thought this is absolutely awesome and it's going to be a really uh, a real improvement to my shop because my, my garage is my shop so I don't have, I'm not able to, to build things and leave them in one spot like some people's shops um, you know can, they can do in their shops but being able to to make this removable and utilize it and then when you take it off be able to walk right up to the bench have room underneath the bench to if I, I have it set up where I could put a stool there but I don't have I got a smaller stool right now so this is a really cool setup and I think it'd be very useful to people that are limited with space and I have it of course like I said uh, screwed up to the workbench with self tappers if you have a wooden workbench couple of pilot holes, run some drywall screws or whatever, something that'll hold in, legs, whatever you want to do, that'll allow you to leave the setup on the workbench and pull the vise off or the whatever you want to put. You can make five setups like this if you have room to store them, make some shelving and stick them on a, on a shelf, whatever. But um, I think it's a very useful hack that I learned, you know, life hack, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I think you'll be interested to, to, to watch this video. Okay, here's the finished product. This is... Uh, sitting on the front of the bench. The vise is actually um, removable. So I'll give you a picture uh, in a couple seconds of the underneath of the bench so you can see how this thing slides in. So the bench, uh, the, the uh, vise is bolted to a two by six, which is onto two two by fours. Um, and the two by fours slide in between, the two two by fours slide in between three other two by fours. That are on the bench. So let me, uh, I'll show you from underneath and you'll get, I'll, first I'll take the, the, the vise out, show you what that looks like, and then I'll show you underneath the bench as to how it's uh, set up. There's the setup for the, uh, that the vise is mounted to. Two two by fours that are the depth of the bench, the, the length of those two two by fours is the depth of the bench. And then uh, it slides into slots in the front that look like that. And let me set the camera up underneath and I'll show you what it looks like underneath. Okay folks, here's the uh, the setup underneath. There's three 2x4s that run all the way front to back. Three 2x4s. Then at the very back, there's a 2x4 bolted across underneath them. And one in front, uh, all the way across. Now, what I had to do on this, there's a little bit of a a reveal on the front of the workbench so I had to put a piece of uh, I just shot with some brads a piece of, of quarter inch plywood on top of the two by's so that it would be down enough so that the two by four would fit you know snugly in there but the uh, I just took some some uh, self tapping screws this is this my workbench is made out of an old elevator door a stainless steel elevator door so the underneath of it is steel it's not stainless steel but it's steel so I just took um, Self-tapping screws, six per two by four, so would be nice and sturdy. I, I drilled while I had them before I put it to, on there. I drilled extra holes, four extra ones, ten holes per two by four. I only use six, so I thought if it's not sturdy enough, I can always throw four more instead of having to climb under there with the drill and open the holes up everything. So, anyway, um, the three two by fours go front to back. This one's not very visible because it's painted black. Some scrap I had around the shop. Then a 2x4 across the back, one across the front. These openings here, of course, when you, when you mount the, uh, when you start making this structure, you want to take and put a shim of some sort, maybe an eighth, or eighth, eighth inch shim or something, between 
the two by four that you're going to put in there and these two things. So otherwise you, you don't want it exactly as tight as a two by, it'll be almost impossible to get it in and out. If you take and put a shim, it, it's, it leaves enough slack in here where you can push it in there. Um, this, this has been, is proven to be really, really a nice solid way to mount the workbench, or the uh, vise. Um, and when you take it off, of course, then there's, there's no, no problem, nothing in your way here to work. And you still have room underneath for leg room. I, I left this open. I, I keep my Craig jig kit in there and everything, some other stuff, but I, I don't have a stool high enough to sit, uh, to sit there and do work, but I thought I wanted to set the, the bench up to do that anyway. So I have one of these little rolling, little rolling bench, uh, stool that I use, but it's not set up for work in there. But anyway, um, so that's about it. You, you, uh, two foot long, so you need six feet of two by fours for the, for this structure. And this is like 18 inches, so another three foot. And then the top structure is two more two foot two by fours and a piece of two by six. Now I had most of this laying around, the, I had all of it laying around the shop. I had to go buy the, the bolts to go, no, I think I had those two. The bolts to bolt that down, and I had to buy the self tappers to screw the, uh, the two, these two bys into the workbench. So it, it seems to work really solid. I'll, uh, I'll set the camera back on the tripod, I'll show you how it goes in, to, so you have an idea of how, what I'm talking about. Okay folks, I'm going to show you how this, I have to find a spot on a shelf for this or I'll make another setup on the wall where I can stick the these two uh, two bys in. But it sits in like this, now, like I said there's room here, there's a little bit of slot back and forth. Just got to pick up on it, shove it in. And I figure if it, if ever there's a time when I have to wrench on something really hard and pull it and it starts to come out, I'll, I'll drill a hole or something and run a, just stick a, a bolt in there or something with some kind of clip to hold it up just to keep it from sliding out. But so far I've used it several times and it hasn't been a problem. So we'll, we'll have to see if that happens. Then to pull it out, you just grab it, comes right out. There you go. So hopefully that will uh, help somebody who's short, limited on space. I'm very limited on space. My shop is, is quite small, so, but that works, uh, works very well. So there you go. Hope that helps some people out. Well, here's where I ended up putting my, uh, my vice for or the uh, vice setup right now. So we'll see uh, if that'll work. I'm, I'm kind of short on wall space in my garage, so it, the, which is my shop is my garage. Um, so it's hard to find a wall spot. Otherwise, I would make another rack and just hang it on a wall. But uh, for right now, I'm going to leave it on the shelf here. So we'll see how that works.